Hello everybody, welcome to another Reiko Rents training video. My name is Jordan and today I'm going to walk you through just a couple of quick things. One, how to add people and respirators into your database and the new software for the TSI port account 8040 or 8048. I'm also going to show you how to export those fit test reports from the software once completed. So here's our port account and over here is the FitPro Ultra software. So when we launch this, it's first going to ask for operator initials or ID. My name's Jordan Michael, putting in my initials. And this will bring us to the main menu. Now, one thing to note here, uh, the port account may not be detected. So if there are any issues with that, the first thing to do is to use the FitPro Ultra client, which is separate from the software. So, let's actually take a look here. So the port account can connect wirelessly. And once I turn this on, you can see in my list here, I don't have a Wi-Fi connection, but there is a little Wi-Fi adapter. This is that Wi-Fi adapter that we're looking for. So as long as that is hooked up, now we can see the blue symbol on the port account indicating that the Wi-Fi adapter is active. Back over to the software here. And this is what we're connecting to. So you can see it's actually automatically connected. So now if I go back into the FitPro Ultra software, again I'll enter my initials. All right, and there we go. So now we can connect to this port account. So we're gonna hit connect. And up comes all of our options here. So our port account is connected. Now typically you would want to run your daily check. We don't need to do that here because I'm just doing this for training purposes. Uh, so if you're getting started from scratch here, uh, you know, you could import your own database if you have one ready. And if we go into the people menu here, if you're starting from scratch, here's our list of people. So before you do the fit testing, you need to enter your information uh, for people and respirators in these separate menus here. So I will enter myself. All right, so now I'm in the list here. I'll go to the respirators now, create a mask for myself. Edit sizes, this auto already has all these selections, so you shouldn't need to do anything there. And we'll just do a new, I'll say I've got a 3M 6600, say it's a half face. And if you are not familiar with the pass level, uh, for half face masks, you're looking at 100 for the pass level. If you have a full face mask, you're gonna want to set that pass level to 500. So half face is 100, full face is 500. And we're doing 100 for a half face 3M mask here. Okay, so now I am entered into the people and the respirators, I have my mask entered. So now I can go ahead and run my fit test. So when we go to the port accounts menu, this is where we can run our fit test, daily check, our real time checks. And we are going to do the fit test. So you'll select from the list. Of course, I'm the only one here. You'll select your protocol. Uh, we do have the fast fit test protocols here, if you'd like to do those, and we will do that. <laughs> Here's the mask I entered. And of course the size, so you don't need to enter different uh, different masks for each size as you just select the mask and then it'll ask you which size of the respirator you're using. So now I can assign that and we're ready to go. Now I'm just simulating a fit test. I'm using tubing with a zero filter hooked up because I don't have my own mask, but we will start the test here. So this is the process of the fit test here. It actually shows you 
uh, what you should be doing here during the exercises. And you can see this is the fast fit test. So we just have four exercises. This is gonna be much quicker than uh, the old fit test. I believe they were around 10 minutes before. Now you can get this done in five minutes or so. So we're gonna let this run. You can see the ambient is 1596. And because I have a zero filter hooked up here, we've got zero on the respirator. So nothing is leaking into what would be my mask. Uh, so we're gonna have a really good fit test here. There we go, a fit factor of over 28,000. Wow, look at this perfect fit factor. I am awesome, look at this guy. Great animation style. All right, so our fit test is complete. So everything is done here. I passed, very clear. Here's my fit factor for each exercise. It's like it stayed the same, so that's good. We were consistent with the zero filter that I used to mimic a fit test here. Um, so you can click next, you can go on to doing more fit tests or we can print it straight from here. So. Now we're done. Once that fit test is complete, you'll see a nice summary. Uh, we know what our pass level is. We know the fit factor that I attained, which is well over the pass level. So I passed. Now you can either continue from here, start doing more fit tests, or you can print uh, directly to a printer if you have this hooked up to one. Now, if you don't, which may be the case, you know, this is our own tablet, you may not connect this to your printer. So what we can do is we can go into the fit test history. And this is where you can go, you can see all your fit tests and print them from here. So here's my fit test. Now there's different options. If I go into details, I can print this view that I have here, or what I think is the best option is if you just hit print, it'll ask you to select a printer. Again, if you have a printer hooked up, you can select that. I do not right now. So what I would suggest doing for our customers is to select Microsoft Print to PDF if you don't have a printer hooked up. And then you can save each of these fit tests as a PDF, and then later you can email them to yourself or uh, we do have a flash drive here with a little USB-C adapter, which is necessary to hook it up to this tablet. Uh, but you can save all your fit tests. We'll do the print to PDF. And I'll just name this Joe Smith Fit Test. <laughs> all right. So this is what that report is going to look like. Here's our fit test report. So you can see here's my name, here's the date, here's the test details and the fit factor, and of course, my pass level. Now it will take pass levels for each individual exercise. So you may pass some, but you may not pass all. So what you do wanna look at is that overall fit factor, which shows that I passed. So here's my initials. Of course, you can print these and sign them, date them if you'd like. Uh, you can use a PDF editor, but this is the basic form that this is gonna come out in, and this is what most people will, will utilize for their results. Again, you can email those to yourself. Um, you know, I could log into my Gmail account here on the internet, or I can use the flash drive to export it. And, that's it, just a couple tips on uh, getting set up for fit testing and uh, pr producing your reports. Thanks for watching.